And right now, we've got a CBS 4 News exclusive story to tell you about a very close call involving a toddler and a lake has neighbors in a South Florida community breathing a sigh of relief. It's a reminder to all of us to keep a close eye on children and grandchildren. CBS 4's Natalia is live in Miramar with details. Natalia? Well, according to neighbors, Elliot, this two-year-old boy managed to slip out of his townhome right here, cross the street by himself, ended up going into this grassy area all alone and ended up right in that lake. Don Marshall had just gotten home from his shift with Miami-Dade Fire Rescue when he heard his neighbor sounding frantic. I heard the grandmother crying out, Josh, Josh, Josh. He looked out his window and saw an image he'll never be able to forget. A two-year-old boy almost entirely submerged in the lake behind his home. I saw that he was about like 15, 20 feet out in the water with his head. I could just see the rim of his face. If that weren't alarming enough, he recognized the face of the toddler struggling to stay above water. What well, the kid is my godson, first of all, too. <laughs> I'm coming down the stairs, oh my God, you know, I mean, I just couldn't believe it. Thankfully, the boy's grandmother had quickly noticed he was missing and rushed to rescue him. By the time I got downstairs, she already went into the water, pulled him out of the water, and he was conscious and alert, just coughing up water, what have you. He checked his vitals and listened to his lungs. He vomited right here in front of the house, so that was more uh, evidence to go ahead and call 911 to let him get further evaluated medically. The close call left Don shaken. He hopes this will serve as a reminder to anyone caring for young kids to teach them to swim and to watch them closely. As a paramedic, he's seen many of these incidents end in tragedy. Uh, sometimes we have happy endings, sometimes we have sad. In this case, it was a happy ending. And that, of course, is wonderful news for this entire neighborhood. Now, police say this appears to simply have been an accident, and at this point, no one is facing any charges. Josh is at Joe DiMaggio Children's Hospital, where he's being kept overnight just for observation. His godfather tells me he's expected to be just fine. Natalia Zaya, CBS 4 News. Good to hear, Natalia. Thank you.